Hey guys. Leah here. And today I will be making an advice message to people who still supports Blue Crystal 2K6, also known as Windows Paris, so here I go. Guys, I am not trying to bash y'all's opinions, but you need to cut ties with Osvaldo this instant. Here are the reasons why you should not trust him. 1. He treats Pucker like it's a gift from God, proving that he is a toxic fan brat out of this show. Although I still like Pucker. 2. He adds fictional characters in his commentary videos, proving that he acts like Sunny Day Yes Game of Thrones now. And keep that in mind that I still like Sunny Day Yes Game of Thrones now. 3. He has horrible grammar, he actually says nonsensical things that are not understandable. 4. He interrupts people's sentences, proving that he acts like Josh does terrible content 2008. 5. He treats me like I'm worse than Hitler, when he can just ignore me. 6. Whenever I try to do commentaries on him, he goes too far by making too many commentaries on me, proving that he can't handle getting commentated on. 7. He claims that Imerla brought up his past, yet he brought up my past actions from 2022 to 2023, proving that he's a dumbass. 8. He can't handle calling people a sunny day yes Game of Thrones no wannabe, because every time when people call him that name, he just interrupts it for a very stupid reason. 9. He cannot handle swear words, proving that he acts like Jack King 2K9, Among Us Fan 22, Plotigan Vegas, and ABC Isadora. Not only that, but he claims that he told me to stop swearing, yet he swears himself, proving that he is more of a dumbass. 10. He supports Foxy the Fox 110, like what the actual truck? You know damn well that Foxy cannot be trusted due to her making me suicidal. 11. His commentaries are absolutely 100% garbage. 12. He wished Miracle Lapis an unhappy 16th birthday, proving that he's heartless. 13. He says the N-word, proving that he's racist to black people. 14. He sends grounded threats to me and AJ Raider, when grounded threats don't work at all. 15. He edits people's sentences, proving that he acts like Aaron the GPS 2009 hater and Josh does terrible content 2008. 16. He can't handle one itsy bit of hate or criticism, when it is a simple thing to do. 17. He claims that I simp on Ching from Pucker, when I am actually not. 18. He called me a 7D fanboy, when I am not. I still like the 7D to this day. 19. He made Emi Tori the Coco Melon hater ought go on a five-day hiatus because he made her upset, which was uncalled for. 20. He got me terminated all because he hates me, which made loads of people cry. 21. He caused Fox Dream Studios life in jeopardy causing him to almost commit suicide. Like are you kidding me? That wasn't cool at all. 22. He overuses the same commentary clips over and over again, proving that he's annoying. 23. He made the Pucker fanbase really toxic, which that wasn't cool at all. 24 And finally, the worst part, is that he dated a 11-year-old girl named Ching who is a minor, here's the proof. Oh. My. Freaking. Goodness. Blow Crystal 2K6. Are you freaking in street right now? I cannot freaking believe that you are dating Ching who is a freaking 11-year-old minor. That is absolutely unforgivable. Now this proves that you act like Junior Pogue. That does it. I am never forgiving you for this ever again. And I hope your parents find out about this. You are such a disgusting freak to all of us. So yeah, those are all the reasons on why you shouldn't trust Blue Crystal 2K6 ever again. And Blue Crystal 2K6, if you're watching this, do not do a commentary on me. Or else I will get Jacob, Frankie Kun, AJ Raider and my other friends to deal with your ass. Do you hear me? But anyways, see you later.